The world around us is changing rapidly and the public expects that Ontario engineers are not just keeping up, but leading the way. With new technologies and new engineering applications of these technologies emerging exponentially, Professional Engineers Ontario has some key questions to answer. Could the scope of PEO's licensing reach further into high-tech fields of work to safeguard the public? Could PEO's priorities have broader public consultation to stay aligned to the trust placed on our profession? What is the power of the PENG license and what does PEO need to do to ensure it remains an effective regulator in the 21st century? My name is Marisa Sterling and I'm the 101 president of PEO. And in a few days, I look forward to exploring these questions and others with you, PEO volunteer leaders, as we reimagine PEO together at our 2020 virtual volunteer leadership conference. I value your insights. Whether you will be attending on June 11th, 12th or 13th, you will be joining myself, the VLC planning committee, your PEO chapter and committee colleagues, and our facilitators from the Engineering Change Lab and the Mars Discovery District as we engage with you to reimagine PEO, who and what we need to regulate to protect the public interest into the future. This conference will be a significant first step to launch and help shape this year a visioning process for PEO, a vision that will help PEO dramatically increase the impact of engineering regulation in Ontario. As you know, PEO has been laying the groundwork for transformational change. We have begun responding to an external regulatory review by approving and starting to implement an operational action plan to address the review's recommendations. In addition, we recently approved a governance roadmap to strengthen Council's effectiveness to move PEO forward. Together, the action plan and governance roadmap will build a solid base from which we can forge ahead to be an even better regulator. And now is the time for PEO volunteers, leaders like you, to build on this work and help PEO continue looking ahead. Now is the time to shape a new, longer term vision that allows PEO to respond and adapt quickly to societal trends and challenges in order to continue to protect the public interest. We must move quickly or risk being left behind as technology and emerging disciplines outpace our ability to regulate the evolving practices of engineering. The public today are asking questions such as how can they trust smart cities or consent to cell phone tracking and know that their data privacy and data access are being managed for the public good? They are wondering if facial recognition software has difficulty identifying people with darker skin, what other biases are embedded in the designs of the technology that we use? and they are concerned about how to stop climate change and inequality to create a more sustainable world. PEO needs to not just keep up with the public's concerns, but lead the way to navigate how it will regulate professional engineering involved in these issues in the public interest. To do so will require a transformation of some parts of PEO while preserving what is helpful and working. The Virtual Volunteer Leadership Conference is the first step this year to charting this path, bringing together ideas from our diverse engineering backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives. I'd like to share some details about how our first ever virtual conference 
will engage you in this important work. In response to the current pandemic, this year's VLC seizes on the shift to virtual meetings to present the conference in a fully digital and interactive format. This will allow PEO leaders from across Ontario to participate and help shape PEO's vision. The day will be divided into three sections. In session one, we will be exploring the public interest in a changing world. We will look ahead to the major relevant forces in the future and their impacts on PEO's role as Ontario's engineering regulator. For example, we will ask, what does the general public expect when it comes to protecting their interests in a rapidly changing world? In session two, we will be engaging with a case study. We will examine a digital technology, the public interest impacts from this technology, and what these mean to how we understand the work of professional engineers. Finally, in session three, we will keep our sights on our North Star, which is to protect the public interest. Having set the stage with the explorations of the morning sessions, the afternoon sessions will be an opportunity to begin directly informing key elements of PEO's long-term vision. I encourage you to share openly with your colleagues which societal forces and tensions you observe that PEO needs to address in this vision. We will be working in small groups for the majority of the conference. This visioning process needs you. In order to ensure your voice is heard, we have elected to offer three runnings of the five hour conference so that we can accommodate small group discussions in virtual breakout rooms. Whether you are attending on June 11th, 12th, or 13th, you will spend the majority of your time in the virtual breakout rooms with four to five other participants and a dedicated facilitator. This is an interactive working conference, so please plan to be somewhere quiet with a comfortable chair where you can view a screen and have a camera on you so others can see you clearly. Think of this virtual conference and your engagement and contributions as being similar to as if you were participating in person. I think this is an exciting experiment in a new mode of working together that could open many opportunities for PEO in the future. PEO's North Star is resolute and it remains our mandate to protect the public interest. As we innovate at a pace we have never prepared for or previously experienced, our efforts need to continue to align towards this singular goal. And as we reimagine PEO together, we will look ahead to identify which societal changes have and will continue to affect PEO. This conference seeks your input to create a vision to help PEO remain responsive to the rapid changes around us, an increasingly digital world in which engineers are being called upon to contribute in new ways. The conference is a key step in a process for building together a long-term vision for PEO. The insights from the conference will be summarized and shared with you and PEO Council to inform our next steps in this visioning process. PEO's future effectiveness will benefit from a clear, shared vision for the next decade and beyond. You, its volunteer resources, are key contributors to reimagining PEO. We need to stay agile and responsive to the world around us. And we need to lay a path that identifies who and what we need to regulate to continue to protect the public interest into the future. 
thank you very much for setting time aside in your busy schedule to participate in the upcoming virtual volunteer leadership conference. I look forward to seeing you online very soon.